Hey guys, it's the Ollie Game, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And today, we are going to be taking a look at my predictions for Fighter Pass Volume 2 in Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is not particularly who I would want, even though some of these will appear on who I would want list. And so basically, uh... Today we have five fighters, well, plus Min Min, as she's already announced, coming out Monday or tomorrow when you're probably watching this video. Actually, if you're watching it tomorrow, then that's today. Never mind. And so, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to see more content like this. But anyways, let's get right on to the first fi fighter in the Fighters Pass 2. Starting off with Challenger Pack 7, we have Crash Bandicoot. I think, uh, I already thought that Crash Bandicoot would be a 100% for this checklist, or whatever you want to call it. But now that Crash Bandicoot 4 got announced, it's even more of a 100% guarantee. I don't understand why he wouldn't appear in the Fighters Pass. Also, these are really in no particular order, except for Challenger Pack 11. He has to be uh, Challenger Pack 11. So let's get on. And so, uh, yeah, I just think Crash is really likely. Uh, yeah, so the Challenger Pack 8, pack eight I'm going to say that will be Rillaboom from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, Rillaboom is the... First of all, I don't play Pokemon. I have, don't have the game. But uh, Rillaboom is the uh, fully evolved form of the grass-type starter, Grookey. Now, why would I pick Rillaboom? Well, because we already have a water starter, a fire starter, and so that means we need a uh, grass starter. I think they're called grass. Uh, it'd be kind of embarrassing if they weren't, but... Uh, yeah, so I think Rillaboom would be a great character, kind of like Donkey Kong. I just think he makes a lot of sense to help promote their new DLC for uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. And uh, the next character in Challenger Pack 9 is Rayman. This is probably out of these the one I would probably not do at all. I don't really care about the character as I've never played a Rayman game. He actually made it on to my characters I don't want in Smash Ultimate uh, list, and I feel kind of bad for it. That video got a lot of dislikes, but uh, make sure to go watch that one. You'll probably disagree with what I say in that. Uh, and yeah, so Raymad is Fighter Pass 4, te technically 9, but... Uh, in this it's four, but I, I just think it makes sense. I know there's not, I don't think there's any new Rayman games coming out, but there is a Rayman game on the Switch. He's been pretty requested. I just feel like he would make sense. Challenger Pack 10, I knew it would probably be a Mario character, but I couldn't decide between Geno and Paper Mario, but I chose Paper Mario. Oh wait, no I didn't. I chose Waluigi. Uh, so... Uh, I was going to choose Paper Mario until I realized that, uh, Waluigi would make a lot of sense. But, uh, Paper Mario wouldn't make sense because of his new Paper Mario Color Splash game. But when that pack comes out, now that I think about it, pa no, Color Splash, it's not Color Splash, that was the Wii U one. Uh, Origami King, Paper Mario the Origami King, but when this pass comes out, um, that game will have been, uh, pretty old, uh, so I just think it would make so much sense to have Waluigi, if not this pass, then the fi then the next fighter pass, uh, three if they ever make one, but then the final character, Challenger Pack 11, it just makes so much sense. If this is the final fighter pass we have, this makes so much sense. It's Master Hand. He has been in the game since the very beginning, just never being playable. He already kind of is playable in this game 
as in one of the World of Light stages, um, and it's, he's really overpowered in that, but, uh, they can really tone him down, and he'd be a really great fighter. I feel like Master Hand would be one of the, would be the last fighter for Smash Ultimate. It just makes so much sense. Is Smash, Smash is bigger, a bigger game than almost all the games that are represented in Smash Bros. Like, Smash Bros is so much of a bigger game than a game like Punch-Out, as much as I hate to say it, it's much bigger of a game than an F-Zero as Captain Falcon originated in F-Zero. And I really like Captain Falcon, but I, I just think to have like a Smash Bros type representative in the game would make a lot of sense, because, and especially because Master Hand, even while not being very requested, he's very iconic to the series. The only problem is he's a little boring, he's just a hand, but uh, still, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, I have extra time, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about some of these characters and like what I think their stages would be. Uh, also, with Min Min in the game, uh, as the arms representative, I don't think that was the right choice. I still think they should have done a multi-character thing with Min Man, Spring Man, um, Ninjara, and Ribbon Girl. That would just make a lot of sense. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine if they didn't. I don't really mind that much. I just personally would have rather had one of them. And if there's just gonna do a single character, as my main character in ARMS is Springman. I also use uh, uh, Springtron, but uh, he's literally just Springman. So I would, I would have liked Springman. And with Waluigi, I don't think I've ever covered this, but I think his final smash would be like a Waluigi pinball themed final smash where you get thrown onto the track and you get beat around like you are the pinball or something or pinball rolls over you something like that um and yeah i don't know what the heck master hands final smash would be but uh neither do i with crash rillaboom or rayman because i've never played a rayman game i haven't played pokemon sword and shield and i've never played a crash bandicoot game I just think Crash Bandicoot kind of looks cool. That's why I kind of like him. But, uh... Yeah, so that's really about it, guys, for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. If they make Fire Pass Volume 3, I'll do another one. But probably not anytime soon. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing next week, but, uh... Thank you guys for watching. That's really it. Goodbye.